Big connection from Conor McGregor. These little elbows, he's so dangerous with them. Oh my god. McGregor oh! with a few shots. Wow. Machine is completely out of it. And vocabulary of shots coming from Conor McGregor. Nathan has never been submitted. It's a he's lot of never pressure. Been there it is. I have and never seen it. anything like that. If you ever get to a stage where you're saying, you're looking at something and saying, nah, that doesn't work, that's, my, 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 my way is better. That's the wrong way of thinking. You want to learn absolutely everything. You want to absorb everything. And you want to be perfect, you know, you're looking for perfection. Although the guy may have done a lot of sparring, may have been hit by a lot of people, it's different when Connor hits you. It's, everybody says it. You don't want anything. You have everything. <laughs> As if there's a huge wall in front of us and there's no way we can climb it one by one. But I know if I, I'm gonna hold my hands up here and I'm gonna help Connor up there because I know when he's up there he's gonna, you know, give me the hand down and he's gonna pull me up there as well. Connor looking so settled already. And that's that capoeira start. No matter what people say, people put me in a fucking room, people could throw bricks at me and call me every name under the sun, I still walk out there thinking I'm the Don Juan, you know what I mean, thinking I'm the number one. That's the, that's the way I just feel, I don't give a fuck about nothing else, you know what I mean? Is it busy, John? Uh, the same as that. Yeah. Good the same as that. That's one thing, one thing I learned over in Iceland. Whether, whether I was training as hard as I would be back here, probably not, you know. So I'm always trying to learn. Okay, uh, here with the Cage Warriors featherweight champion, Conor McGregor, just being announced today on uh, MMA Junkie that not only do you have a change of opponent for New Year's Eve, but going up a weight class and contesting the Cage Warriors uh, world lightweight belt. Um, give, us, give us your thoughts on the new weight class, new opponent, and anything else. Yeah, I feel... Uh I feel good, it's good to get the opportunity to fight for the, the lightweight belt and they're giving me, um, giving me a big opportunity, you know, when Jim, uh, my last opponent, pulled out, just some bad news, you know, and I think like if you stay, if you stay positive, when you get some bad news and just keep, keep positive and good news will follow soon after and that's basically what happened, you know, the gym, the gym pulled out. And, now they uh, give me the chance to play for the later so feeling good. I've watched like a minute and a half of, uh, of the first round. I might watch like the first minute, the first minute and a half of the first round and I won't watch too much after that so I'm just gonna go in the way I always go in, open mind, be spontaneous and just let things happen naturally. Okay and uh, any any sponsors or anybody you want to thank before we wrap um, it up? I'd like to thank uh, John Cavan and my coach, all the guys here on the owner, all the guys I'm training with, they're helping me out, helping me out a lot over here. My team back home in SPG, I'm looking forward to getting home and getting some sparring in with all, all the guys down down in SPG. And I have big shots, sports nutrition for the supplements and everyone, the friends, family, the whole lot. Okay, uh, thanks for that and uh, all the best. <laughs> This shit right now. You, you said you wanted to try this shit, so I'm in no <laughs> mood. I'm a, I'm a, I haven't eaten that yet. This is my first one. It's gonna be so fun. You, you only need one knife, a so, knife. You, so you can get the eye out and and, and know, then just yeah. eat, eat, eat with your hands. I don't need yeah. Here's a bottle of coke there for you. It goes terribly well. <laughs> and this is turnip. It's making things even fun, more fun. Right, fuck it. Let's just do it. Yeah. Are you going straight for the eye, or what are we doing? We taking some cheese. You can you can stuff first, maybe like eat the jaw and the tongue. And the jaw? Do you cut like this? Yeah, you can just also just open it. Just to get ah, open. God, <laughs> Jesus Christ! What's wrong with you people? Oh, whoa, whoa. 
what's that? That's that's mash and that's And then he's stabbing in. Oh, I think just no, fuck it, just get in and just he just thinks we can go with something nice. <laughs> like. I think a fuck, Hamson. Just Oh, their teeth. Oh man, this is fucking <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> the teeth. Ah, like. oh, this is a bit much for us to get. If I just eat the eyeball, can I leave it at that? Nah, you no. have to try everything. Uh, oh, dude, it's just fat, greasy shit. Like. <laughs> There's no goodness on it. Like. Where's the fucking meat? It's just bone and fucking grease. Look at this shit. Ugh. <laughs> it's good. Ugh. It is good. <laughs> oh, I'm at the feeling teeth. I <laughs> know <laughs> that's up to me. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, it's like that real fatty lamb. Uh. <laughs> Keep the toilet door open with you. You can also take a, you can take a jaw and open it, so no, it's much, much, much easier to I don't wanna do eat it. it like that. No, no. <laughs> yeah, like this, yeah, that's how you open it. That's how you open it, so you can eat it. The tongue. <laughs> You're supposed to eat that. This is the best part. Are you gonna go over it? Eat the tongue. Oh man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Fuck it, yeah, I'll do it. Well, give a bit of your own rather than rip mine open. Rip your own one open, yeah? <laughs> Fucking hell. This is my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> No, so I gave you the black one because it looks worse. <laughs> yeah, that's so sad, yeah. <laughs> you would have done exactly the same. Are you going to do these fucking eyeballs or what? He really like wants it. a white though. Hmm? He really wants a white. <laughs> <laughs> you going to regret that, son? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave it with him there. Yeah, yeah, you hang on to That's the shit, that's that's the shit that fucking uh, Yeah, uh, you can see a little fucking attachment to his eye so you can see, look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Full of uh, protein. Yes. Yeah? yeah? It's only protein, yeah. I'm happy with that. Hello sweet. Conor McGregor? Yeah. Okay. During the course of the week, sir, do not take any sleep medication, no diuretics. What's up, baby? Hey, hey, How you doing, Do not take any sleep medication, no diuretics, nothing for any type of head cold, hay fever, allergies, infections. Do not, absolutely do not take aspirin, Advil, Aleve. Those are blood thinners. Ibuprofen or muscle relaxers, you don't want to take those fight weeks. Benadryl, if you have any type of congestion in here, you can take Afrin, which is just a mist that you spray. Mm. The only thing that you can ingest for any, whatever ails your headache, whatever, is Tylenol. If you don't have any, you come see me. I got a box that big on my desk full of Tylenol. That's the only thing that you can ingest during the course of the week that I would recommend you. Okay. Let's see what we got here, son. I ain't mad at you. I like, <laughs> I like that. I like that. You get that, baby. I like that. That's that's the way you're supposed to come in. Yeah. Let me tell you something. At this level, baby, you come here half ass. You leave here half ass. Trust me. There's no second way around that. That's just the way it is, baby. You gotta be right. We're gonna wrap your hands, correct? Yeah. I told Dana that. Connor's fight be over pretty fast, so he can jump back in if he's stuck. Or uh, call or Art and um, even Paddy Hulan said that he's up for. So we have a few guys there that can jump in. So we'll get a quick few words from the champ before we go. How are you feeling, Connor? Yeah, I feel good, yeah. I'm going to around do a little sweat session first. They're traveling and that's good to get that sweat session in. Or see, I think we'll do a little sweat session. Good stuff.
<laughs> All right, so uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. NBC. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> what up, my man? Yo, what up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Your chance to your chance to win this on the night in EFN. Yeah. All the best. Good luck. I think that one. I think that one might look good. The restaurant downstairs. <laughs> you were waiting for the uh, media turn out there. We're like, ah, oh, fuck it, we're going to have another state. Take that one, that is what we issue. You're allowed to take food over there, but again, you're not allowed to eat the food in the locker room. You will eat, you can take the food outside in the locker room, you guys can eat it outside. Locker room numbers uh, Yusef, number one, Tom, number four, Ryan, number two. Connor, seven. So uh, I'm just back in the change rooms and uh, that went pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> that went good. Uh, I'm going to show you a little video now, photographing a little video, and then I'm going to get Connor to talk about it, okay? This is where we were on Wednesday. Do <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Bert? All oh, night long, baby. Oh, night, baby. <laughs> but guess what? Now you get to see me again. <laughs> <laughs> again. <laughs> good job, son. That uh, was a good time. <laughs> So uh, basically, Connor there just showed him a little video of where we were on uh, Wednesday morning. Wednesday just gone. Do you want to just uh, explain that? Uh, uh, Sunday, Sunday I wakes up and um, the wisdom tooth was coming through. Like the bit of gum was coming over the wisdom tooth and it's the part of this pain. Now that I was crippled with pain, couldn't sleep or What's that, five days before the weigh-in? Five days before the weigh-in, so I had to ring a doctor to come out to the house. Gave me antibiotics, but I had told him I had a fight coming up, and so he gave me little baby antibiotics. They didn't jack shit. So then I'm taking them antibiotics, thinking, yeah, they're gonna do good. Then I'm up, fly over to Sweden, fighting four days, three days, or whatever. And uh, the pain is still there. I can't sleep, no sleep, and I'm like, waking up six o'clock in the morning in a bad way. Can't open or close my mouth. When in Sweden, nothing else we could do. We went to the dentist, and literally about a minute from taking uh, the wisdom to go, we're gonna get the wisdom to go. 
Unless you have given me stronger antibiotics, I've been on six antibiotics a day. And um, painkillers have been since Sunday. And that's it, that was the story. That's all a heavy week, you know, but honestly, you know, anything could happen. Any that affect your mind? Yeah, no, you know, that, that's it. Like, I mean, these are just challenges. You just have to improvise, you have to adapt, and you have to overcome these things. And that was just another thing that's, that I just had to overcome. And no, no, no one was going to. Um, no one was going to stop me in there anyway, yeah? Alright. Alright, well, uh, we'll do a little video after. You get your dicky bow on and look sharp and <laughs> get that, get some cheese off there. <laughs> please, please. Look at the nice. How are you feeling there? Owen and Arthur, enjoy that? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. Superstar. That's great, man. Great experience. Weird, weird right. feeling. I get you a couple of daiquiris on, then I'll do an interview again. This is still No, nah, it's it's a heavy one. And the most attractive. The pound for pound number one with the pound for pound number two. Yeah. Then I'll try this with Johnny Bones. My man. You gotta be a mean drop on the man. You flash the rolly. You flash that rolly. Yeah, you know. The number two rolly you around. Know. We got we got some Rolexes. <laughs> what you mean number two? <laughs> oh. Right on. Send me that. Oh, there's the hooligan. <laughs> there's the man. The Shinobi vlog, the notorious edition. The champ. <laughs> champ is here. There's the Vasil, Dr. Payne. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a good day, I think. <laughs> In Iceland, with all this shit behind me, I don't know what we're gonna be doing. All these people. Hewlett. Uh -huh. yeah, I need you. <laughs> yeah, blow out, blow out the logo. Yeah, that, that's good, like anyone else, yeah? <laughs> Get in. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Mjölnir, Conor, let me say hi. What up? <laughs> Congratulations, Jan, and everybody at Mjölnir on the new... Uh, Groundbreaking facility. I cannot wait to get over there in early 2016 with myself and Gunnar. We're over here uh, training hard, preparing to fight. And we hope you are enjoying the new facility, having a good party. And we'll see you in 2016 with that shiny UFC gold belt. And one <laughs> for my brother, the Isaac.